Hey guys, so I know I don't usually do these videos too, too often, but today it's going to be a little bit different. I currently work for a group called DS Services, and basically what we do here is that we take custom orders for specific orders on, uh, specifically for me, I do scripting, but they do building, a lot of uh, aviation stuff like that. So, um, But today I got a custom order about um, how to do a drink animation when given a cup, all right? And today I'm gonna, definitely going to go ahead and be showing you that step-by-step -step on how to make one. All right, so what we're first going to do is I'm going to first open up my, my um, here, no, no, get out, you, bad, bad, there we go. I'm just going to currently add the cup to our workspace here, okay? And so let me go find this cup. All right, so I was given this cup to do a drink animation on. Now, it's not the highest of quality. I don't know what that purple drink is. Hopefully, it's grape juice. But uh, what we're first going to do is that we're going to install a couple plugins here. All right, the very first one that you want to install is the animations uh the animations plugin which i gotta check my plugins because i don't even know what it's called uh not moon animator i don't think it could be i don't think it is oh my gosh where is it ah no not that um maybe i'm not look maybe i need to go to my plugins there we go that'll make sense that'll make sense uh probably uh, mm. What the heck, man? I downloaded way more than I thought. Uh... Ah, there it is. Roblox animation right here. All right. And so once you install that, you know, you'll have now access to all the animations. Then the other one that you need to install is going to go ahead and be your weld, uh, which is. Oh, do I even have that? Oh, yeah, I do. Motor creator. OK, motor creator right here so I can create welds. And you'll see why I do that in a second. All right. So. The very first thing that you need to do is definitely install those. The very the second thing that you need to do is now we got to make our animation. No, not Blender animations. Damn it. Uh, we need the uh, build rig. Okay, and what this thing does is that it builds us a dummy type sort so that we're able to edit it. Okay, and so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take this dummy. All right, we're gonna take this dummy right here, and now we need to weld this cup onto the dummy. All right, so first of all, I was given this cup, right? Oh, and I put it in the wrong area, right? Actually, no, no, I wasn't. That's a, that's another cup I was working on. So we're going to do copy, paste, and now it's in my starter pack. So now I just want to see how I hold this thing. All right, so uh, for this part of the video is just simply looking at, uh, looking at a reference here. So you see that I have my cup here. I'm holding it a certain way, a little bit to the inside. And I'm going to make it so when I click it, it's going to go, it's actually going to move my arm and put it into my mouth. All right. That's what she said, but we're going to keep moving along with this. All right. So from the looks of it, it seems like that this cup had the straw facing in kind of like this. And judging from this, by the way, this is the F3X. You're, you're also able to do this with studio. But here, it looked like that it was about half uh, right around and a little bit more to the inside. Kind of like that, I would say. A little bit more down. So probably like that. All right. So that's just a guesstimate. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you would like to get it as close as possible, though. I just want to look at it one more time. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm referencing how I hold this cup. And you see how like the bottom is still inside of my hand. It's a little bit located towards the right hand side a little bit. And the straw is facing towards the inside. And I think I basically got that nailed. Let me go ahead and take a look one more time. Uh, I just, yeah, I mean nailed. All right, so now that we have that, what we need to do now is that we need to take this cup. We're going to delete all these. We don't need those. Those are just welds from, from the uh, previous... Um, from the previous scripts that were inside of it. You don't really need it now that I'm gonna make my own custom welds here. And so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take, um, we're now gonna go into our weld. We're gonna do something called create welds. Then we're gonna go inside of our dummy here. We're gonna hit our right arm. All right, because this is gonna be our part zero. Our part zero is like, okay, what is the part that it's gonna be attached to? All right, so we're gonna do just that part zero. And now it's going to ask, OK, what do you want to attach to this part? These are considered our uh, part. Well, part one, it should be, but it's just going to be parts. I'm going to select everything inside of the cup. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to hit close. All right. And so now you're probably wondering, what the heck did that do? Well, if we go to our animation editor, OK, which let me go and show you that again to kind of slow it down. You go to plugins, you go to animation editor. 
And now it comes up with this with this screen right here. I'm going to rename it to Drink Animation 3. I'm going to hit Create. Now, what this did was that when I move this arm, the cup moves along with it. Okay, and that's exactly that's exactly what our welds did. So the very first thing that we need to do is that the Roblox character automatically moves their arm 90 degrees to, um, to for any tool. It's just 90 degrees. Okay, so I moved it 90 degrees, and this is what the person's going to look like at the very start. Okay, so now if I go around to the five sec to to the zero zero five, all right, the five millisecond, I think it is. I'm just simply going to rotate. And I'm just going to start animating, okay? I'm just going to make it so uh, that I'm going to do it by another increment of 10 here. And I'm just going to make it so that when the player drinks the cup, uh, you just got to angle that out a little bit better. There we go. And I'll move this down. All right. And I'm just going to get it to just around the right spot. All right. So it seems like a little bit too far down, but we'll see. Oh, I almost got it. All right, and so I know it looks a little bit weird right now, but it's not going to be too, too bad once we uh, once we kind of balance everything out. What I'm basically going to do here is I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to put at the 15 mark. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put at the 20 mark. And I'm actually going to take this middle one, uh, and I'm actually going to go and I'm going to move these to the 20 mark just so that we are even on everything. So that's at the 10 mark, it's gonna be at the 15 mark. So now this is how it's gonna look like. Drink, right? Because it basically goes in and then out, and there we go, just a quick sip. All right, and if you wanna extend the drink time, you could do it up to here. Well, what I would do is I would take all three of these so that's all even, and then just simply extend it up to there. So if you want a longer drink time, you absolutely can, just like that. You know, it gives you, buys you a couple milliseconds. And then let's say that we're done with our animation here. All right, so that's done with the first part, just creating the animation. Now we're going to go into our, we're going to go into our three dots here next to drink animation. We're going to go to export. And I'm going to call it drink animation three because I made two more. I'm going to call it bro moment as the description. All right, and now we have our animation ID. And that's exactly what this is. So let's go ahead and let's open up this link so I can get this ID. All right, and our ID is going to be this nine uh, digit number right there. All right, so now that we have our animation, we no longer need to reference this. We don't need it. All right, now we got to focus on our cup that's inside of our starter pack. All right, and if you need to, let's say I didn't have the cup in the starter pack, you could just take this tool, copy, and paste it into the starter pack. That, this is only if you want to, or you could just take the cup that you had before. Um, the only reason why I would take the other one, uh, well, yeah, you know what, that's fine. And I'm, I just want to break the welds just in case, just like that. All right, so I would just move it over a little bit, just like kind of around, kind of around here, mainly because there's a weld currently attached to it. You just want to break those welds, but that's only an option if you want to do that. All right. So now what we want to do is that we want to go to insert object. We want to go into animation. Okay. So now we're importing an animation. And I'm going to rename it to drink, all right, just because it's an action. And now it's going to ask, what's your animation ID? Well, that's going to be the six digit numbers right there. I'm going to hit control C, control V. Now there's our animation. And now we need to insert our local script, okay? And basically what a local script is, is that whatever, whatever input the user has is what's going to be presented to the user. All right, so now the very first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to say local cup is equal to script.parent, okay? Just to show that for script.parent, it's just script.parent, which is gonna be our taro, all right? And then let's say that we wanna do, what's the parent of part? It's also taro, what's the parent of, there should be, what's the parent of drink? So if we did drink.parent, it's gonna be taro again, okay? But in this case, it's just gonna be the script, the script's parent is equal to the cup. Now what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna say cup.equipped, we're going to connect a function and we're going to pass through mouse. All right. And basically what mouse is, is that, okay, what exactly did the player click? All right. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to say local animation is equal to game dot players dot local player dot character dot humanoid. All right. And then we're going to do load animation script dot parent dot drink. 
All right, and so basically what we're doing here is that we're loading the animation when the tool is equipped, okay? Now, we're gonna do mouse.button1down, and now basically what we're doing here is that we're gonna say, okay, I loaded the animation uh, when the tool is equipped, but now let's say that we wanna actually drink it, all right? So now we're saying that when the player clicks the left click, which is mouse button one down, if you wanted them to right click, just change it to two, but we're just gonna stick it at one. And we're just simply gonna say animation play. All right, and then for just reference sakes, I'm gonna do print, I was clicked. All right, so now I'm gonna go and test it out. Oh, I forgot one big important concept. This is actually gonna to need to be restarted, time out. Uh, that is kind of on me. All right, so we have our drinking animation again. Um, you need to make sure that you need to set animation priority to action. All right, that's a big thing that I forgot. So if you go to your three lines, you go to set animation priority to action. And now I kind of got to do this process again. So let me go ahead and do really quickly export, drink animation four, bruh, submit. All right, and so it's just the same, same thing, just different ID. Um, just make sure that you set your animation priority to action. All right, basically what action does is that it allows you to, to run this animation while you're holding a tool, all right? And so now that that was done, we could actually go ahead and now try it out, see if it works, see if I made an error, which I probably did, but we're gonna see what's up, all right? Oh, something exploded over there, that's fine. Um, but when I, dr when I drink it now, when I press the click, it runs the animation. But here's, the, here's a quick error here. All right, let's say if I unequip it, it still runs the animation. Hey, I got nothing, you know, I'm drinking it for sure, but when I unequip it, it looks kind of weird. Like, what am I doing? I know that's a, but just to, it's a little bit extra, but I mean, if you had wanted to, it's totally fine, but uh, it's just a little bit of an extra. So you just say tool.unequipped uh, connect function mouse, same thing. All right, which I don't think you really need to pass your mouse. Uh, actually, you really don't. Uh, so I'll just keep it at function. So, uh, whoops, not tool, cup. I called it cup, not the tool. So we say cup.unequip connect function. We just say animation stop. All right, and now basically what it does is that when the tool is unequipped, the animation automatically stops. So what did I do? Did I just create a new one? Yes, I did. I did not want to do that. All right, and so now we're going to play it again. And now when we try it, it automatically stops the animation as soon as your tool is unequipped. All right, and that's how you animate a cup. And now, uh, I don't know why those balls are kind of like all over the place. You probably just need a wee to re-weld them to the cup. Uh, yeah, actually, let me go ahead and look into that. Um, so let me actually, I'll actually fix that for you as well. So I'm going to go on up here. I'm gonna go to workspace, let me see. All right, so let me, I'm gonna just quickly, quickly, quickly select all of the parts. Not that one, that one, not that one, that one, that one, not that one, that one, that one. I'm guessing it's all the ones that are not welded. Smoky gray, smoky gray, smoky gray, smoky gray, smoky gray. Gray, smoky gray, smoky gray, smoky gray. I'm just gonna quickly group all these. There we go. Okay, so now these should be all of the balls. I'm going to go ahead and group them. Just for... All right, and I'm just going to call these balls. Balls, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take... I'm just going to weld these to... Looks like the handle gets welded to. So we're going to do handle, and then we're going to weld it all to the handle. All right, so I'm going to go into my plugin once again. I'm going to do create welds. I'm going to select part zero, which it's going to be handle. Parts to weld. I'm going to just select all of these balls. Done. There we go. So now they are all welded. I'm going to ungroup this. Now let's go ahead and try it out. Let's hope that these balls don't explode. Oh, I need to first put it inside of my starter pack. That would be important. Uh, nope, wrong one, wrong one. This one. So now let's go ahead and try it out. Starter pack. There we go. Let's play it, test it out. And now let's see what's up. 
And there we go. All the balls are on. And we're all set. All right, and that's how you do it.